praise is a favor enhancer. Is anybody ready for this? Let's look at Acts chapter 21 and verse, we'll read verse 18, then we'll jump to verse 20 and 21. Praise is a favor enhance, enhancer. In Acts, in, said Acts, Judges, I beg your pardon. Judges chapter 21, verse 18. Judges 21, verse 18. How be it we will not give them wives of our daughters? For the children of Israel have sworn, saying, Cursed be he that giveth a wife to Benjamin. Therefore, they commanded the children of Benjamin, saying, Go and lie in wait in the vineyards, and see, and behold, if the daughters of Shiloh come out to dance in dances, then come ye out of the vineyards, and catch ye every man his wife of the daughters of Shiloh, and go to the land of Benjamin. And it shall be, when their fathers or their brethren come unto us to complain, that we will say unto them, Be favorable unto them for our sakes, because we reserve not for each man his wife in the war, for we did not give unto them at for, for we did not give unto them at this time that ye should be guilty. Praise the Lord. Now, what the, the preamble of that scripture, um, there had been a war, and the children of Israel had been slain, the children of Benjamin had been slain, and all their wives and everything had been slain, but there were some remnants. And then, in the course of the war, they had all the other tribes had sworn that anyone who gives his wife, his daughter, to be Benjamin, Benjamites for wife, would be slain. So they were all under an oath. And they were not going to give their daughters to the children of Benjamin to marriage. Then they woke up and said, but if we do that, a whole tribe will be wiped out. What shall we do? And then they said, let's go to the yearly feast like we have come here now. And as the, two, the young ladies are dancing, every one of you Benjamites should look, identify the one that suits you the most. And then just run and grab her. That one becomes your wife. And they said to them, in case their fathers and their mother and their brethren come and say, why did you catch our daughter and take her away to be your wife? Tell them it's because of the oath. So just pity them and let them be. Can I announce something to somebody here today? Whatever oath is at work in your life, whatever curse is at work in your life, every anti-marital spell, every spell of stagnation, spell of delay, spell of retrogression, every spell that says you should not go forward, today as you praise God, that spell shall be broken. I said that spell shall be overturned. If you believe it, shout a loud amen. And so the ladies came out and danced. And probably I'm sure that the ones that danced the most were the first to be picked. Somebody is going to dance here today. I didn't say your husband will see you, but there is a possibility that anything can happen. Tell your neighbor, anything can happen tonight. Tell somebody else, anything can happen tonight. If you are a believer, shout a loud amen. Tonight, God is going to open some, some closed wombs. Some wombs that they said were barren shall be opened. Some heads that they said were dull, the head, the mentality shall be opened. Some people's bank accounts that are under demonic spells and they are locked up and they are closed. After tonight, as you praise God, as you worship Him, they shall open. If there is a believer in the house, you shout a loud Amen. Listen to me. Praise time in church is not interlude for the arrival of latecomers. It's a minister's conference. Can I speak to you? Pastor, you are the number one praise leader of the congregation. You might not be a singer. You might not even know how to dance, but be there. Let praise ooze out of you. Then praise will ooze out of the congregation. And then the preaching, your prayer can reduce. Why? Because when we are doing what we should do, God rises up and answers us even before we pray or ask. God is about to do something for somebody here today. If you are a believer, you shout a loud amen.